Okay, first thing we're going to do is remove the bo plastic body panels. The engine spoiler comes first. There's screw three screws. They're M5 screws and you use a T25 driver. There's one here, one here, one down here. Okay, that's... Okay, you want to keep the screws uh, from each panel separate because they're all different. The engine spoiler uses these 25 millimeter long screws. Okay, now we're going to remove the front side panel using a T25 ratchet and get in there for clearance. You have to be very careful removing this panel. There's two tabs that can be snapped off up on top here if you're not careful. You want to start pulling from the front towards you. There's uh, two nubs that go into rubber grommets and you want to release them carefully but support this end so you don't pull too far. There goes the first one and then the second one. And then we're going to just wiggle and loosen these back tabs till they come out. You can be aware of those, they're very delicate. Okay, next we're going to remove the knee cover and air discharge duct. We have to move the seat back a little bit. Remove this. M5 with the T20, T25 Torx tool. This one screw is 17 and a half millimeters long. All the rest are 14 and a half millimeters, so keep them separate. Pull this panel out, you have to release the wire for the auxiliary power plug. It just slides upward out of the clip there. And if your bike comes equipped with the factory auxiliary lights, you'll see that our the mounting bracket utilizes the same. Uh, mounting point that our engine guards do, so that has to be replaced. We have our part number 30-250BL, which will accommodate our engine guards and the factory auxiliary lights. Okay, start with, we're going to use a T30 Torx driver to remove an M6 screw here. Using a small screwdriver, after we release this, we're going to unclip the connector so we can pull the wire out of the light housing. Okay, using some side cutters, we're going to snip the zip tie and free up the wire. We're going to use the T40 Torx tool to remove the mounting bracket, the factory mounting bracket for the auxiliary light. Uh, removing the bodywork on the left side of the bike is the same as the right side. Okay, so now that we've got the engine guard is on and secured, we want to uh, start replacing the plastic. 
However, uh, putting the plastic on is not completely straightforward on this one. Uh, the uh, radiator discharge duct and the knee cover won't go on uh, the way they came off in one piece. So what we're going to do is remove these two screws and loosen the discharge duct, put it on, and then put the knee cover back on and reassemble everything in place. Okay, to remove the radiator discharge duct, we're going to take out these two M5 screws with the T25 driver. And we'll see that there is a tab with a catch on it on the back side here, so we have to release that so we can pull this part out. First thing we're going to do is position the radiator discharge and reconnect the auxiliary power wire into the clip and that kind of holds the discharge tube into place. Then we offer up the knee cover to make sure that this tab goes under the body work here. Okay, now that you have all the, the pieces in place here, we have to make sure that the, the tab is snapped back into the housing on the back side here, and you have to do this by feel. You can you can feel it when it goes into the into the slot. And then we'll put the screws in securing the discharge duct to the knee cover. Secure the knee cover back to the rest of the bodywork. And we remember that the one 17 millimeter screw goes in the back here under where the seat is. Now to aid the reassembly of the front panel here, I'm going to put a little dab of grease on each one of these nubs and just a little bit on the rubber grommets that they go into. Make everything go together a little smoother. Okay, with the front uh, the panel angled out, we're going to start the tabs up on the top here. And we have to align the, the top nub till it finds its grommet. And the bottom nub. And you can feel they both popped in there nice and easily. We're going to replace the two. M5 screws in the front.
Okay, the last piece to put on is the engine spoiler, and this one uses the 25 millimeter long screws. <laughs> 